Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna take you guys through troubleshooting a blue screen of death error. So this can be very frustrating and you might not know where it's coming from. And so hopefully in today's video, we can help you fix it and not have to deal with it anymore. But before we get started with that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we can try is to clean up our temporary files. And there's a really easy way to do this from a single menu. So what we can do is hit the start menu and we're gonna enter disk cleanup. Go ahead and run this. And then here we can check and see if there's any files that we can delete. Yeah, if you see anything in your recycle bin, you can, uh, you can go ahead and select that. You can also check temporary files. And if you're not familiar with some of the other things that are showing up here, uh, you can select that as well. And then we can actually just go ahead and click on clean up system files and we're going to let this load. And then again, we'll, uh, we'll select what we want to remove here. So temporary files, temporary internet files. And with that selected, we'll go ahead and press OK. And press delete files. Now for the next thing, we're going to right click on the start menu and we're going to click device manager. Now what we're going to check here is for recently installed applications or software that might be interfering with our device drivers. Now, if this is the case, it can cause a device crash. So we're just gonna check through here, make sure everything looks good. So what we're looking for inside of the device manager is some sort of yellow error message telling us that we need to update our device drivers. Uh, I don't immediately see anything, but we're just gonna check through here. Make sure that we don't see any any sort of like update warning sign or something like that. So everything looks good here. We'll go ahead and move on. We're gonna enter the command prompt. So we'll type CMD in the search and we're gonna run this as administrator. And we're gonna use the command prompt to run a scan of the SFC. So the command for that is SFC space forward slash scan now. Now SFC stands for System File Checker. So we're telling our computer to go ahead and scan our system files. Now sometimes what you might see when you enter this command is that the repair, a system repair requires reboot. If that's the case, you're gonna reboot the computer and you're gonna run the same command again. And then at that point, it's gonna run the SFC scan. Now I'm not getting that message here, but I am seeing that Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. And then we have some directories here for offline repairs. So we can actually see uh, what Windows found, what it repaired, but our SFC scan is complete and Windows is telling us that it repaired something. Now, another command that we can run while we're here in the command prompt is DISM. Now this is another tool that we can use to help us find corrupt files. So we're gonna run a few commands here and we'll put those in the description box below for you guys. All right, so we're gonna run this check health command here first. Then we can run scan health. All right, so it finished running the scan health command. It's telling us the component store is repairable. So now what I'd like to do is I'm gonna run the same command. This time we're gonna run restore health and press enter. So the scan was checking for corrupted files and then the restore health is going to remove those files if there are any. So this is a good place to check whether or not our system seems to be okay or to try to just resolve these issues from the command prompt. So what it's doing right now is it's trying to scan the system and restore any corrupted files that it might find. Now, once this is complete, it may or may not have done anything for you, but we still have a few other things that we can check as well. All right, so that has completed and it said pretty much again, uh, the system has repaired files or something along that lines. So once we've run all those commands, we have another one we can run called check disk. Now this is chk. DSK, and then we'll do forward a space and then a forward slash R, and we'll press enter. Now you're typically gonna see a message like this. The check disk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. So it usually runs this when the system first boots up so that there's nothing else going on with the disk. So we'll type Y and then we'll press enter. And this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. 
So you could go ahead and restart your computer now at this point. And then as your computer is booting up, you're gonna see a scan and fix progress bar at the bottom of the screen. So you guys can go ahead and run that, and then we'll see you when you're done with that. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys are experiencing a blue screen of death error, hopefully this video was able to help you fix that. If that's not the case, drop a comment below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.